Hello guys, what's going on? Welcome to my channel Accelerate and in this week's episode I'm very excited to show you guys how we're going to use the camera function that's hidden within Excel. So guys, I've got a little dashboard going here so I'm just going to zoom in so that I can explain what we've got here. So I've got a little map chart uh, and we're tracking uh, sales, uh, costs and gross profit throughout the regions. So you'll see here I'm just taking North America for example here, the gross profit was 500 and basically just shows a little screenshot here of the sales, the cost and the gross profit that we've uh, gotten in this region. So from the camera point of view, you will see this is basically a camera picture that takes a screenshot of data that we have in sitting in another sheet. Even the map as it is, is a little screenshot as well. So this is very nice functionality that's built into Excel. So now if you're building your dashboards, you don't have to worry about column width or row width anymore because you can scale this picture up and down as you please. So you can see it just takes the picture and scales it up. So, and if you double click as well, so let's double click on the map icon here and it will take you to the source. So I've got my 2D map uh, here in the background. So this is just a basic picture with a scatter plot here. I'm going to leave this file for you guys down below so that you can download as well, just for ease of reference. And here's my sales, uh, cost and gross profits for every region. And I've also got this dashboard too that's showing the male and female split within the regions as well. Also pulling through from graphs that I have within this uh, workbook that I have. So this is very nice functionalities while building your dashboard. So I've got this nice dashboard here uh, for male and female split within the regions and I've got this dashboard showing the split between sales, cost and gross profit for my five top regions. So guys, uh, just before we get into this, please hit this little subscribe button down below. Hit this like button if you like this video already and let's jump into this one. So I'm going to start off with a blank sheet and I'm just going to call it a dashboard one. So I'm going to take the first two rows here, just merge them and I'm just going to say uh, dashboard one. I'm just going to apply a nice color to this scheme and put it in the middle here and also just put in a white color font and also put in a blue a bold here as well. I'm just going to increase this font a little bit. So there's dashboard one. All right, guys. So now basically I'm also going to take away the grid line. So in my dashboards, I don't like grid lines. So you go to view, you click on the little grid line tick box here, tick it off and you will see the grid lines effectively disappear. So for a nice clean slate for your dashboard. And now guys, we're going to put in this nice secret camera function. You're going to go to file. Oh, sorry, not file. You're going to do the uh, quick access top here, the top bar here at the top. On the drop down list, we're going to go to show ribbon uh, uh, more commands, sorry. And then here at popular commands, you're going to say all commands. And once it's loaded, you're going to look for a line item called camera. So it will be here at C, so camera. You're going to add it in. Mine's already added, so you make sure it's added in and you're going to hit OK. So that's step one done. So now you'll see at the top, there's a little camera button here. So you, you can highlight anything here in the sheet and you can click on this little camera button and now you can draw your camera. There I'm drawing the camera. So it will take a screenshot of the reference that I have just did. So basically, what I can do is I'm going to increase the size of this screenshot. And basically, you can go into the reference to where it references from. And you're going to hit equals. And I'm going to go to that uh, 2D map reference I've got here. I want it to reference my map. So from B10 up until I23. And I'm just going to hit enter and watch this magic happen. So there it references it. And now basically you can drag your map. It takes a screenshot of that specific cell range. And now you can play around with it and build your own custom 
uh, dashboard, not worrying about any column widths anymore. And it's also form formatable, so if you don't like the black line uh, at the top there, you can always just click on it, go to format, and here in format you can uh, change the border color. So I'm just going to change the color so it fits in with my scheme here as well, and there you'll see it has changed. So now I'm just going to do another screenshot so you can literally click on it, you hit Control C, and then reference to another cell, we see Control V, it's going to make a duplicate of that, and now I just want to change the reference. So I'm just going to highlight the reference, I'm going to say equals, going back to my 2D maps, and I want it to show the North American uh, data here, just highlight from K2 up until L5, hit enter, and it will take that screenshot of that data set. It's quite magical. Awesome stuff. So now you've got North America's data here. So I'm just going to shift out the map a little bit. Let's do one more. Let's do for South America as well. So what now I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this one that I've done already. I'm going to hit Control C and I'm going to click on A14, Control V, and that will paste the duplicate of the screenshot. And I'm just going to make the reference say equals let's do for south america going to 2d maps again south america and you hit enter awesome guys so now you've got south america you've got north america and you can play around with the sizing as well just for a nice added effect i'm just going to insert a little shape here so in the insert tab in the shapes i like to go with this little shape here the line call out I'm just going to drag it around this side and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shift this little slider that side and I'm going to make it go to the right. So I flipped it effectively and I'm going to place it over this and what I'm going to do is I want this at the back side so I'm going to right click and I'm going to say send to back and that will send it to the back side and now you can also increase the the size of the line that you want so I'm going to increase the line size here the weight and I'm going to increase it to a nice 2 and you will see it, it this map still overlaps it so I'm just clicking on the map right click send to back apologies send to back and now you'll see you've got that blue line that you can play around to your data sets I'm just going to control C this shape and I'm going to say control V and this will make a duplicate. I'm going to place it over the South American data here. I'm going to place it to show to South America and I'm just going to send it to the back side. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send the map once again to the back side. And there you have it. You've got your map dashboard ready to go. You can literally just update this so if you want that um, female male split within the region you can just click on the little camera button and we're going to uh, change the reference we're going to just go to the reference up top we're going to say equals and we're working with north america i've got north america male female splits here in my tab and i wanted to reference from e up until n and i'm just going to hit enter and that will pull through my new region and for South America as well I'm just going to update say equals and I've got South America data here as well on another tab E to N hit enter and as easy as that I've updated my little dashboard to show the different regions uh, male and female split guys if you have downloaded this um, app, uh, spreadsheet you can always go to the 2D maps and change your variables here. So you'll see if you change uh, North America to let's say 2000, you'll see the bubble changes in size effectively according to the other sizes. And if you change your female split here to let's say a 65, it will all automatically change the dashboard as well. And obviously it will update in your new sheet as well. There we go. So it updates quite effectively. And there we go, guys. So this enables us to build these nice types of dashboards without the hassle of worrying about column widths or row widths. So yeah, guys. So if you've liked this video, hit on that little like button. 
hit on the subscribe button so I can bring you more awesome videos. That's it from my side for this week. Cheers.